Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Claire and I'm here with a two card tarot reading for you. Now it's the 23rd of December which is Christmas Eve Eve. So we've put our matching jumpers on haven't we Poppy just to say Merry Christmas. And I've got to say I don't think Poppy's that key. <laughs> but you know what? We'll wear them for the photos and perhaps we'll take yours off a bit later because you don't look that chuffed about it, do you? Do you? No. Okay, so you sit down there if you don't mind. Okay. And I shall do our tarot reading. Now, it's Friday the 23rd of December. And I'm, on a Friday, I use my spirit animal cards. So I'm going to use those again today. And I think I just said this is going to be my last reading for a little while i'm going to take a break for the christmas period and be back uh be back soon so <laughs> depending on how many glasses of baileys and mince pies and stuff i eat so um so that let's take this as a card message for today but also for the week ahead as we've got um a new moon coming in today and um, so i'm going to do a message for the new moon the week ahead christmas whatever well, however you feel that this message resonates, then just take it for that. Okie doke, what animals have we got today? She's gone down there soaking. We've got the donkey, which is a very Christmas-related card, actually, isn't it? Um, and it's the five of fossils. <laughs> so I do feel... I don't know if you can see, there's a little star shining above that. Now, do you know what? That couldn't have been more perfect, could it? As a Christmas message, um, you know, we're all about the, seeing the star in the sky and the, and the donkey in the stable um, and, you know, obviously um, the, the Christmas story. But this particular donkey is carrying quite a burden and he's looking a little bit, um, yeah, he's, he's struggling a little bit. Um, and I feel that that is the recognition that, you know, that there are struggles regardless of what time of year there is. There's always some sort of um, struggle to have. Um, but the little star that's shining down on him in that sky is a reflection that everything is temporary and nothing lasts forever. Um, so it's, I feel like that's kind of a message that if you are finding things difficult... It isn't forever. Now we've got a new moon today. So I feel, although that's a Christmassy kind of message, I do feel that that's tapping into the new moon energy that we've got coming, um, coming with us today. Just to say that there's sort of new starts and new beginnings. So maybe this is a time of change. Maybe this is, uh, this is you saying, this is the last time I'm going to do this and I'm, then I'm going to do things differently. Let's see what other animal comes out um, and see what else we get to accompany that message. Okay. Oh, okay. We've got the stalk and we've got a nice little crescent moon in there as well. The stalk is the ace of feathers. Aces are new beginnings, aren't they? Um, and the feathers in this particular tarot pack are all to do with um, the, the mind, the thoughts thought processes they're the swords in a normal tarot park pack and the stalk obviously we all know that the stalk is a bringer of good news okay um, and I think he's a perfect accompanying companion to this donkey who maybe does need a little bit of good news so yeah although this is um, a new moon which is at the very end of the year it is signaling signaling in new beginnings maybe new ways of thinking yeah maybe we're going to soar high in the sky this year and not um you know elevate ourselves to a better position um i do feel the donkey is giving us the message that really some things do need to change uh, and there are um changes coming that are going to be for the better Okay, now I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to pick, I know I said it was a two card reading, but I just feel like I want to have another card just because I'm not going to be here for a little while, but also um, because I just want to get a little bit more info into that Ace of Feathers now. I might get a message saying mind my own business, but I do feel like I want a little spoiler as to what is to come. All right, so let's see what else we've got as well. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, we've got the penguin. And actually, 
The one thing that I really like, we've had penguin before. I haven't got my penguin blanket today. Um, it's, uh, it's upstairs. But, um, you know, we've talked about penguins before. Um, and he's the seer of shells, and, which are pages, which again are new beginnings. Um, now, I feel that this is a really lighter card. We've, we've got the sort of dark purple of the donkey and the dead of night that the stalk is coming in. Um, and I feel, you know, sometimes we do sort of in the middle of the night have some ideas of, of you know, I, don't, I want to do things differently. I want to, um, this isn't working for me. But I do feel in the beautiful cold day, this penguin's come along and got a little bit of a sense of adventure. Exploring emotions, uh, trying new things, and um, doing things a little bit differently is the message I'm getting there. But it is, it does very much, I feel, these two combined are telling us of a new beginning that is coming and something that is going to be um, brighter. Okay, so take this donkey and give him lots of love and give yourself lots of love and self care as well. If you have taken on a lot, Maybe this is the time to, to stop doing that and to slow down. Over the next week, we've got a, a retro, another retrograde. We've got Mercury retrograde. We're already in a Mars retrograde. So they really are going to be forcing us to slow down and take stock of, of, of maybe, you know, we're not quite getting anywhere doing the things the way we're doing. Um, so that is the element of change there. So... Um, change for the better I think so please do take that message with my love I wish you a very Merry Christmas um, I will be back again soon um, if you subscribe to my channel you'll get a little notification when I do a new video so hopefully you will see that soon um, and I just want to say a big thank you to everybody that has watched these videos over the last few months I've really enjoyed um, how it's grown and all the lovely messages that you give me as well so that's really nice um, so I'll be back again soon Thanks for joining me. Bye.